Hey guys, it's Tepco Sack Repair. Today we're working on a Yamaha Zuma. I'm going to show you guys how to change the inner fender. Now the inner fender is the part that's behind your regular fender. So you have the inner fender that's right here. This piece goes along and it goes all along the bottom uh, of the bike right here, all along the bottom part. A couple things go through it, so you have to break it all the way down like this. So let me show you what you got to do. This is a pinch bolt, you gotta take the pinch bolt all the way out. Pulling the brake line through. Pull the speedometer cable through. Now the only thing left is going to be, we got a 10 millimeter up front. Okay, 10 millimeter right there. Now this thing is now just being held by a couple buttons with uh, wires. So I'm going to pop those buttons off and then I'll show you how we're going to get it off the top. So we got our um, lock ring right here and then that's our adjuster. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop this lock ring loose. I'm going to spin that all the way up out of the way. I took the plastic cap off already. This is going to just come off the top right here. Lock ring, spin it all the way off. All right, and then we have a uh, washer underneath that, and then we have this nut. So this nut right here, Actually, it's not a washer. It looks like it's just attached to it. But this nut right here is our adjustment nut. So when we loosen this up, everything is going to come loose here. Our bearings in the top and bottom are coming loose. All right, so we're going to spin this one all the way off as well. All right, so we got it loosened all the way. Then we're going to pull that off and the lock nut. Get that out of the way. Okay, now if you look in there, you can see the bearings. So now what I'm going to do here is the way I got this set up, is I got this pole right here and this pole is attached to the ceiling to a stud and then we have the tie down here that's hooked on it and because I'm on a lift right here I'm able to just kind of lower lower it down and as I lower it down this whole stem is going to come out and when the stem and forks come all the way out we'll just pull it all apart so let me show you what that looks like here I'm just going to slowly lower it down and monitor everything now, I wouldn't do this with a motorcycle um, but uh, unless you had a heavy duty pole up there but with a scooter it's not too bad so let's start letting it down and see what happens you can see it coming out of the top there see that all right, and all I'm doing is letting the uh, lift down and just dropping it out. And what I'm going to do here is just and all I got to do is get it out enough. Right there. Now I can swing this up out of the way. All right. And then we're going to take this uh, inner fender off. I got a couple more buttons, looks like. The wiring harness is attached to it. So we're going to get the wiring harness off. Okay. And this is what's left of this one. So let me get the new one. All right, so here's the inner fender right here. This is the complete one, has all the lower and everything. It has two parts right here. These clip on to this bar that's underneath here. So I'm gonna have to slide this thing on, clip it onto that bar, and then uh, put it all back together again. All right, so I got it on the bottom here. Those two little clips in the bottom I showed you. These hook on the side right here. There's a little tab. When this thing is mounted all the way up, it's kind of off right now, but 
when this thing mounts right let's see all right there it goes like that and this is why you have to take the little the uh, foot pan off because this has to get here and the foot pan goes on top of that so up front here we have everything back through again we got a brake line through we got our um speedometer cable through these lines sit on the side now we're going to swing the fork back set it up and we're just going to slowly bring the lift back up again and just work it all back into place Everything's coming back in line it's starting to come through the top now all right we can see it's sticking through the top all right coming through the top right here so as soon as this gets up enough here where i got there we go there's our threads so we're going to go ahead and drop the uh, adjustment nut back on with the lock ring all right so our adjustment nut now lock ring is going to go back on move these bars out of the way spin this down okay, now i'm going to let all the weight back on to the forks so I'm gonna let it down all the, uh, well, jack up the lift so it pushes it up all inside there. Make sure that it's all set, okay? It's sitting in the bottom now. So this is fully, now the forks are fully back up in it. So I'm gonna spin this thing down. All right, so we have our adjustment nut going down on here. Now you wanna get this, like I said, you wanna be tight enough so that it's got, uh, enough pressure where nothing's loose so it's moving around in there all right we want to get rid of that so keep tightening it down all right, i'm just jiggling around the front wheel making sure that it's good now i got this hand tight right here there's no plane it usually needs to be a little tighter than that All right, so I got this nut just snug down. Don't make it too tight. If you make it just snug and you don't jam it on there tight, it's usually it's going to be good. Then we're going to tighten our uh, lock nut back down on it. We're going to give it a couple taps to make sure that it's locked in place and it won't come loose. Make sure you saw that tighten a little bit right there. All right. That's good. Got no play. It moves freely. I'm going to put the, uh, the handlebars back on here with the stem. So what I'm going to do here is... Hang on to this. I'm going to be able to lower this down so I can get this pole out of the way. Hang on to the bars and drop them back on. So stand by. All right, so I'm just lowering this down out of the way so I have room. I'm going to put the bars back on. They're going to go all the way down. You're not going to be able to turn it back and forth. That's, that's the amount of play you have in there. That's it. We're going to put the... Uh, Lock nut back on here. Okay, so we're gonna tighten that down. We're gonna put our brake line back on. Make sure you bleed, uh, bleed the brakes when you're done with that. We have our speedometer cable that we're gonna reattach right here. All right, speedometer cable is ready to go. So I'm just gonna send that back through. go make sure this gets pushed all the way back up into the speedometer so make sure there's no dirt on there wipe that up stick that all the way back in there okay and then when that gets all the way back in there reattach it make sure you put your wiring clips back through the holes here and that's all there is to it I mean it's it seems like it's a massive job but it's really not it's it's easier when you got someone else helping you to kind of hold it because you have to drop everything but the way that I did it here by putting it on this lift and then um, Having it strapped so it kind of holds on, holds the, the scooter in place, and you can just drop the forks out of it and then bring it back in. Makes it a whole heck of a lot easier. So, uh, guys, I know this gets damaged. Hopefully this helps you out and gets your scooter looking good again and gives you that protection that you need. You don't want that to be open. And uh, hopefully you like this video. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Hit the bell for further notifications. Until next time, this is Tefco Cycle Repair.